Hey Sam, how are you enjoying that soda? It was real tasty. Does it taste like cancer? A little bit. Huh. People have been dissing diet soda for years. When I was a kid, people said that it gave you brain damage. Then people said that it gave you cancer. I even had a teacher say that it caused her divorce. Really? Seventh grade, it was a major overshare. According to Consumer Reports, more than half of Americans between the ages of 6 and 64 consume one to two and a half 12 ounce cans of soda per day. So are we actually in danger of getting cancer from diet soda? Well, according to a new study published today in scientific journal PLOS1, between 75 and 5,000 cases of cancer Cancer will be derived from all soda, not just diet soda, intake over the next 70 years. Now, that may not seem like a ton of cases to you, but considering that that's potentially 5,000 lives that could be lost, it seems pretty substantial to me. The cancer-causing ingredient is the chemical used to turn sodas brown, called 4-MEI. It's a potential carcinogen found in all brown-colored sodas, and daily consumption of more than 29 micrograms, a very small amount, poses a serious cancer risk. California requires manufacturers put a cancer warning on any product that contains 29 or more micrograms of 4 or MEI, but according to the new study, there are several products that exceed that limit without a warning label. The worst offenders? Pepsi One and Malta Goya sodas, which vastly exceed the 29 microgram limit. Now, by contrast, Diet Coke contains about half the 4 MEI levels per can of a can of Pepsi One. However, the question has to be asked, why are we putting cancer-causing carcinogens in our nation's soft drinks when we don't need to? And why is it that California is the only state in the nation that's trying to keep consumers informed about it? Now, we want to hear from you. Will this affect your intake of brown sodas? What can and should be done about for MEI. Let us know down in the comments below. And why don't you give this video a like and maybe a share if you're interested, if you like what you saw. And also, Sam, you're nominated for a Shorty Award, as, as is Steve Zaragoza and is SourceFed. And today is the last day to vote for the Shorty Award. Sam is up for the weird category. Steve is up for the Snapchatter and YouTube Comedian of the Year category. And SourceFed is up for Web Show of the Year. And it is your support, your votes, that are going to put us over the top. Because right now we're sitting, I think, at number two or number three. Three. I don't mind that. Shortywards.com. Vote for me. If you want to vote for Sam or Steve or for SourceFed in any of those categories, you can check out the link in the description below. Today's the last day to do it, so go vote, vote, vote. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Sam. Vote for me. Yeah, vote for Sam. Don't drink soda. <laughs>